G'day, I'm Ozzy Mark. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to have a look at a video editing software that's free to use and is uh, a result of a subscriber asking me for some advice. So let's take a look at it. It is called VideoPad Video Editor. Now you'll see the first thing that pops up here is this um, thing that's just a bit of a uh, a nuisance but you have to put up with it if you want to use it for free so this free version is licensed for non-commercial use certify the video so you just basically have to click on this one every time you open it if you want to keep using it as a free one so click on that and it comes up to these you can go to an open project if you have one already we're going to look at a new project all right so the first thing you need to do if you're going to edit a video is to bring your files into here you can either click open or you can click add file we're going to go open on this one and i'm going to add a video file first of all let's just grab that one and there it is and now i'm going to grab another one so i'll go add file and i'm going to grab a, another one let's go down here to let's say um, what shall we grab let's grab this sunset one okay so that can go there and what if I want some music um, I can either pick the music later or I can add it later I can add it now see how these two files are in video um, we'll need audio files as well but if you just go to add file and say you want to add some music um, I'm going to add let's say um, let's go and now you'll need to make sure when you're adding music that you're at that the music that you're going to be using is uh, copyright free royalty free I'll make a video about that coming up soon I quite like um, cold chisel so I'm just going to throw one of those in there okay so we'll go K San because I really like K San and it's just processing that one so there's the video file and you'll see it's, it automatically goes into audio files. So let's begin. Go. Um, I, first thing I want to do is I want to add a video. So I'm going to add, um, well, we'll start with the first one. You simply grab it and drag it down onto the video track. And you'll see that it actually creates two tracks, a video track and an audio track. In this case, this one doesn't have any audio, um, as you can see by the fact that it's a straight line. Now, if I add my second video, Say I want this to, these two videos to play one after the other. I can just drop it in on the same track. And there you go, you'll see it's now, there's the first one and there's the second one. This second one has music. So um, I can, if I don't like that music, I can either take that music off or I can um, uh, keep it as a separate thing. Let's say I want to, um, let's leave it there for now. Uh, I'll let's uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use this first video as uh, as a um, an overlay so I'm going to grab it and drag it from where it is down here to the bottom whoops drag no doesn't want to do that come on move okay I'll delete that that's the quickest thing I'll just right click and remove it and move this one all the way up to the end so I'm going to grab this one now and I'm going to drag it down underneath there, right at the bottom, and add it. So now you can see we've got um, two tracks. We've got, there's the first one, oh that's the second one I added, video two, and video one is underneath it. And there's the audio tracks for both of them. Um, if I want to get rid of that audio track, what I do is I go up to the video, I right click, and I go unlink from audio so that the the sound or the lack of sound in this case are um, separated. I can now click on the audio track, right click and delete that. And it won't, when it does it, there we go, took a while. Okay, so now um, that audio track's gone from this video to track. So if I wanna see what it looks like at the moment, I just click here and now I can't see the one underneath because the one on top's um, playing uh, is obscuring it. So what I wanted to do is make that as an overlay and make it smaller. So what I can do for that is I go to this track here, I right click and go to effect. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to click on add effect and I want to scale down the size of that particular one. So I'm going to click on scale. And if you watch over here, 
Uh, let me move this closer so you can see the two together. So if I move the slider down, it, you can actually see that it's moving down to a different size, to whatever size I want. You can also do that by clicking on there and going say 0 0.5, whoops, 0, 0. Point, whoops, disappeared altogether. 0 0.5, and there you go. That's, that, that's half the size. And it's maintained the aspect ratio, that's what AR is. So that might be the size I want, but it may not be in the, in the position I want. So I'm going to go add position. And now I can move it to whatever position I like. If you watch over there, see how it's moving? That's moving left and right. And if I use this, this slider up and down. So let's say I want to put that down in the bottom of the screen there. And I'm happy with that. I can just close that out. So now if I have a look, click back here, you'll see that track. This one here is now moved down to exactly where I wanted it. So that's one um, clever thing you can do. All right, let's say that I want this video one track here. Um, I want to take part of it off. If I want to get rid of the beginning, I can just click where I want. Whoops, say I want to get rid of this section here. I want it to start right there where I'm sitting at. I can just click the split button, okay, which is up here. See that split button, split button there? If I click that, it now separates this one into two tracks. And um, as you'll see, it split the video and the audio together. I can either get rid of that, right click, delete. Now I've got this open space here at the beginning. I don't want that, so I need to m grab my, um, my track and move it with my, uh, right, uh, sorry, my left mouse. And if I want this one to be at the beginning, I just grab that with my left mouse and move that up. Okay, so now, um, what else do we need to do? Let's say there's a bit in the middle of your video that you don't like. If you just go um, to where you, the beginning of the bit you don't want, and you can see where it is by moving, if you look up here and I move this along, I can either slide it along to where the different parts, So I want to get rid of this section here. I split it once. It's now in two sections that you can see, and then I go to the end of the bit I don't like, and I can split it again. So now I've got this central section that I don't like, so I just right click on it, delete it, and there's now a gap in the middle there. I can either bring those two bits together, or if you wanted a gap for some reason, you could. Okay, now um, let's move those two bits together and you'll see it automatically links up like that. So now they'll just play one after the other. What about if you want to add words to your track? Um, you simply go to add text, click on that. In here, you type in what you like. So if I wanted to say, put in, I am Aussie Mark. That's um, defaulted to the last um, color and fonts that I used. If I want to change fonts, highlight, and pick a new font. So let's say I want to use calligraphic this time and I want it to be, uh, let's say I want it to be purple. Click on that. I've now got it in purple. And if I just click away from here, anywhere there, okay, that's, you can see, this is where I, I, I've left it. Uh, that's where it appears. And that's the section of it there. That's it right there. Now I can change its length, the length of time for where the text appears. If I click it, you'll see it's just sitting on top of the video. Or I can drag it um, to a different start position, drag the whole thing over, move it from place to place. If I want to change the wording, I can simply go up here. I double clicked on it. Whoops. I'll do it again. Double click and then clicked in there and I can now edit that. So that's how you add text to your video and how we chop bits out of the middle, how we overlay things on the top, nice and easy. Um, it's, it's a very simple um, tool to use. I hope that you found this useful. The one thing I haven't shown you is how do you actually get your finished movie? Well, that's fairly straightforward too. You simply go up here to export movie Go to File, we're going to export to a file on your computer. 
It also gives you the option to upload straight to some of the social media. I tend not to use that. So I just go to File, then I want to click uh, Create a Video File, Export to Video File. And then it gives me a bunch of options here. First of all, it's telling me where I'm going to store this. And I can rename this to, um, say, Tutorial. And that's where I want it saved. If you want to change that, obviously, you click on Browse, select where you want to save it. Just get out of that. <clears throat> At the moment it's going to be recording in 720p and there are other options down here. So you can see 1080p, uh, it'll even allow you to save in 2K and 4K if you've got that bigger file. I'll just stay on 720p for now. MP4 is the um, recommended file that I um, like to use but there are a bunch of other um, file types that you can save, at, save as, should I say. Um, and yep, you can change the frame rate and the resolution as well. So, and then all I will do is hit create and I'll end up with an MP4 file. So nice and easy. I hope that helped and thanks very much for watching. Uh, you'll find the link to download this particular software in the description. Take care, I'm Aussie Mark. I hope you'll subscribe, click the notification button and make a comment. That would be really terrific. Bye for now.